Hi, I'm Sweet Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. If you saw my previous videos, you'll know I recently went to the Sylvanian family's shop in London. And while I was there, I of course bought quite a few things, including some Japanese figures, some flare figures, and also just random older items. I thought it'd be interesting to show you what I bought, and I have this big bag to go through. I'll talk about figures first. So one I picked up pretty quickly was Charlie Cottontail, the standing individual baby from the Cottontail rabbit family. I've had the rest of the family, including the grandparents, since I was a child, but only two babies, so I thought they deserved another. This is the current Epoch version, which comes with a baby in a yellow romper, and he also comes with a hat and crossbody bag. I don't think the Cottontail twins are in production anymore, so you might look for those online to fully complete the family. Next is one of the items I knew I wanted to buy, which is the Dale Sheep Twins. I actually have two full versions of the Dale Sheep family, but only two babies, which are both the standing baby, Emma Dale. I like having a mix of crawling and sitting babies too, so I got these, who are Sean and Shona, the Dale Sheep Twins. These are the latest Epoch version, so they just have the vehicle item rather than individual accessories, and in their case, it's the little pink train. I also bought another set of twins, but these are the old Epoch version of the Buckley Red Deer Twins. I think this style of twins came out around 2012, although these are the 2014 edition. The figures have open mouths and come with a bottle and dummy which can be fitted in there. The sitting baby in pink is Lily Buckley, and the crawling baby in blue is Matthew Buckley. And the final set of twins I bought are these Japanese version of the Doherty Chiffon Dogs. Yes, another style of twins. These are the crawling and sleeping ones, but also come with a bottle and dummy like the previous ones I showed. I think these are my favourite style of twins because the sleeping babies are so unique and look great in the many Sylvanian cribs. Their names are Nigella and Austin. Nigella is crawling and Austin is sleeping. The box says that these are from 2008 and they also come with a story booklet. To go alongside the twins, I also bought the standing chiffon dog baby and he's called Brooklyn Dirty. This is also the Japanese version, and I love how ones of this time had the knitted style rompers rather than the current new ones. Like the twins, this is also from 2008 and comes with a story booklet too. He doesn't have any accessories, but that's fine, especially as I have a lot of bottles already. As these babies need to have someone to look after them, I also bought the family set of the chiffon dogs. These are just the regular flat-handed Epoch version, which are currently available in the UK, and were £17.99. I love their tartan themed outfits, which are all so detailed and also go really well with each other. I'm planning on making a video opening these and the babies, so keep an eye out for that in the future. The final figure I bought was Jessica Sunny in this bathroom set. I have a few houses which need fully furnishing, so I thought this set would be good for that, especially as I don't have many bathroom items. The bath which comes with this set is nice and big, and I like how the shower is separate, so you can place it however is best. I have the Easy Buy Sunny Rabbit family, which is just the parents and baby, so I'm glad to have the sister to almost complete this family. A slightly random purchase next of the wall lamps and curtains home furnishing set. None of my current Sylvanian houses have curtains, but I got a second hand version of the celebration style tower home, which has spaces for curtain rods to go above the windows, so I thought these would work nicely there. As that house is just a recolour of the red roof tower home, I know these will fit. I also bought this day trip accessory set. To be honest, the main reason I bought this was because of the strawberry bag. I love putting these type of items in messy bedrooms or little scenes to make them look more realistic. As there's lots of smaller items, I think I'll put the accessories like the bracelets with my dressmaker's shop, just so I don't lose them. The next item is one of the Sylvanian family's mystery bags. This is the Baby Party series, which is the fourth series that were released. I only had two of the figures from this set already, so hoped I wouldn't get a duplicate when I bought this new one. This is a really cute series, and to be honest I actually like all of the figures in this set, and could definitely find a use for all of the accessories. The address and birthday book is a very random purchase, but it was right by the till in the Sylvanian shop, and was only 25p, so I couldn't resist. It has spaces for listing names, addresses, birthdays and telephone numbers, but obviously nowadays this is all just in our phones, so I'm not sure what I'll use this for. I honestly just really liked the picture on the front. This is from 2002, so it has all the families of that era and earlier on it, and that's really lovely to me as it was about the time that I got into Sylvanians as a child, so these families all feel very nostalgic to me. I bought two of these oval picture frames, which were 99 pence each. 
to go on the wall of my hilltop manor house or another house to again make the home feel more lived in and homely. I'm planning on cutting out images from one of the many blind bag catalogues I have or maybe one of the boxes for that shiny glossy finish. Alongside the frames, the shop also has some of the old copper kitchenware. I have a couple of items of this series already and if I'm honest, my kitchens are all fully stocked so I only got one item, which is this little teapot. The main part of this is plastic, but the handle is actually metal. I'm going to have to be careful not to lose the tiny lid. I might end up just blue tucking it together to keep it all as one piece. And that is everything I bought. All the prices I've shown are the amounts that were listed on the shelf, but there was a 10% off sale for newsletter subscribers that weekend, so I did save a little money. Saying that, I still did pay nearly £100, which is a lot of money on toys, but I am an adult and have a job, so spending that on things which make me happy is definitely worth it. And I loved the experience of seeing everything in person in the Sylvanian family shop and going one last time before the owners retire and close up. If there's anything you'd like to see me unbox or talk more about, then just let me know in the comments. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what I bought at the Sylvanian family shop and subscribe for more Sylvanian videos and news.